Hi hey guys, it's Beckett here. I'm here to talk to you about values around sexualities and the key thing being that it is your decision. Um, so we're going to go through a value to begin with. So a value is something that is considered to be important to someone. It can relate to many different aspects in life. So a value in relation to sexuality refers to what we deem as important as we navigate our journey as a sexual being. Okay, so there's lots of different decisions that you have to make um, a, to do with sexuality and based on sexual situations. So it's important that we develop these values to make sure that we understand um, our own sexuality. Your personal beliefs, attitudes or feelings about sex and sexuality. So it's a definite link to how we're going to deal with different sexual situations in life. So who or what influences us? So there's lots of different things that influence us um, to do with our sexual sexuality values, okay, and what we deem as important. Um, they're encouraged or swayed by a range of different factors that happen in our lives. Most values that you develop come from people around you, so this could be your parents or people that you spend a lot of time with. It could also be your peers. So they do kind of pressure you into um, going for what they kind of believe in or you do kind of automatically end up believing in what they do a lot of the time. Values can also come from your own beliefs and individual thoughts and feelings about things so as you um, develop and become more onto it in terms of your own sexuality you can start to get your own understanding of different beliefs and values. The challenge for you guys is to is to develop clear values based around a positive sexuality and ensuring that your rights and responsibilities are respected, but that you're respecting the rights and responsibilities of others as well. So the first thing we're going to look at is when things should happen. Okay, so there's different points in your life where you feel like um, certain things should happen. So it could be an age, it could be something that you go through. So when should we get our first job? Okay, so depending on when you think that's important, some people graduate or go to college before. So they're also down there, so college, graduation. Um, and then when you think it's an important time to travel in your life as well. The key thing is understanding that these can be different for other people. Um, so our first thing to look at relationships, so when should we get married in life, um, when should we have children, when should you lose your virginity, when should I be in a committed relationship, okay, so those are all important things that will impact your decisions in life. So some of the key terms we're going to look at, um, so the first thing is sexual orientation, so this refers to the sex or genders of people that an individual is sexually or emotionally attracted to, okay, so this is um, the feelings that you have towards someone, so some of the key terms that we're going to look at also, are like you could be homosexual, which means you're attracted to the same sex, or heterosexual, which means you're attracted to the opposite sex. Um, sexual identity refers to how people view themselves sexually, so who you feel you are as a sexual being. And sexual behaviour refers to our sexual actions or contacts, okay, so this doesn't always fit with your sexual orientation, so you could be attracted to some a specific gender, but then your actions or your sexual behaviour could be different to that in terms of like you don't feel confident with yourself or have a real strong sense of sexual identity yet. Okay, so we're going to look at our sexual orientation. So the first thing we discuss this, so homosexual means that you're attracted to the same sex. So this could be both um, lesbian and gay. Asexual means you don't um, like to participate in any kind of sexual activities. Bisexual means you're attracted to both genders. Heterosexual means you're attracted to the opposite sex. So a female like a male or a male like a female. Gay means you is referred to the male term for homosexual, and lesbian is the female term. Uh, pansexual means you're attracted to a variety of sexualities, and transgender is when you are born, um, and according to your birth or your gender, you fit into a specific category. So you could be um, have male reproductive features, or you could have female reproductive features, but your sexual identity um, is the opposite. So you could have male um, sexual reproductive features, but you could identify as a female instead. Okay, so that's when things are different for you. There's lots of stereotypes that go out about different people. So people are constantly being stereotyped and placed into a certain character category in relation to their sexuality. Um, so some examples, so gay guys love fashion and the feminine. This is not always true. It kind of depends on your personality. 
lesbians are manly and play hockey, so that's another stereotype. Okay, so there's lots of different stereotypes that can be made based on um, your sexual identity or your sexual orientation. Um, they're usually not true. Also, things like girls should wear pink and boys should wear blue um, is another key thing that starts um, to make people feel different about their sexuality. So basically, um, the key discussion is that is it a choice or is it who we are? Okay, so lots of people say people are making these choices about their sexual uh, identity and orientation. They're choosing to be different, whereas they believe it's just who they are. Sexual identity in whole order. <clears throat> okay, so our values and sexual identity are strongly linked, especially to our spiritual side. Okay, so, so our spiritual side of our haora, taha uh, wairua, is all about who we are as a person, and these can strongly link to our values and our sexual identity in terms of what decisions we make, so they can impact that greatly. So the values we have based on our sexuality can determine how we act and the behaviours we think are okay. So this then starts to affect our other dimensions of hold also. So an example of this would be, so if I've got a strong sense of um, uh, self-identity and I follow through with certain things or what I deem is important to me, then it means that I'm probably going to have a strong link to other people and be able to communicate um, well with them, which would affect my taha. No side. Okay, so making decisions that align to your values. Okay, so this is one of the key things we need to be able to do. So it's important that we make decisions about our own sexuality or sexual health. So we need to make sure that this is for the benefit of ourselves and we're not thinking about other people. We must think if these align with our values and if we want people to view us in a certain way. Okay, so the key thing that people make judgments about is our sexuality, okay? So we want to make sure that our own sexual identity is strong and to ensure that people are kind of seeing us for who we really are. When making any decisions, we must think about our options, weigh up the consequences, and understand associated feelings with these decisions. Okay, so any decision that you make to, to do with sexuality um, is one that is going to stick with you, and it's important that you think about the consequences that could happen. You've also got to think about the consequences um, of passing judgment on other people's sexuality and to ensure that they feel safe and supported. So it's, it is paramount or important that we make decisions that are going to improve our own health and whole and that should always be the key thing when we think about making our own sexuality decisions. Um, thanks for watching this video, you guys. Um, do check in with any of your PU health teachers um, if you need any clarification on anything. Thank you.